I began to feel beads of sweat form on my head. I started to feel lightheaded. The attendant approached me and asked, are you okay? No, I'm about to faint. Immediately they reclined my table, put a coal pack on my head and said, take a deep breath. And another one. By now you may have guessed I was giving blood. From my reaction, you may safely assume this is not my favorite pastime. But if that's the case, why would I put myself through this? Great question. One I was asking myself last Thursday morning as the lights started to dim. Two very important reasons. Would you like to know what they are? Number one, I refuse to let fear dictate the conditions of my life. Every time we conquer a fear, we expand our world of possibilities and open up ourselves to new opportunities we would have never had otherwise. We become stronger, not only as individuals, but as teams, families, and communities. Reason number two, it wasn't about me. It was about pushing my personal fears to the side long enough to consider helping someone else. Giving blood is one of the most personal, selfless acts one can commit. Yet less than 5% of Americans do so. Donated blood is the highest quality and up to three patients can be helped from one pint of processed blood. Although we may feel like nameless, faceless donees, to the recipients of our blood, we are unseen angels providing life. Without our donations, untold thousands would perish. This isn't just about giving blood. Maybe for health reasons you can't. This is about facing our fears so that we can help others. I challenge you every month to pick something that scares you and say, this month, I'm going to face down this fear. I assure you, by the end of the year, you will be a whole lot happier, stronger, and more confident. In conclusion, I want you to think back to the last time you took a friend or family member to emergency. Imagine in the chaos, the doctor approaches you and says, we need your help. Can you give blood? What will you say? The next time you get an invitation to give blood, if you can, be one of the brave who proudly stands up and says, I will.